All You Need to Know, the Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Good morning and thanks for listening into the Daily Morning Podcast on Bloomberg Quint. I'm Neeraj Shah and let's get started with tough news surrounding the world. I will, for the next few days, focus on the updates on coronavirus from around the world as I believe this is the single biggest concern surrounding growth and health. Iran's health ministry on Tuesday confirmed 15 deaths from coronavirus amidst 95 cases in Iran, the most fatalities of any country outside of China. Cases of the virus have now exceeded 80,000 worldwide with about 2,700 deaths. And while the vast majority are in China, the fears of the breadth and pace of the spread of the virus is the bigger worry. These fears spooked traders on Tuesday with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warning Americans to prepare for an outbreak. U.S. shares fell 3% with the 1,900-point fall over the last two days, taking the index to its lowest level since October 2019. The 10-year Treasury yield remained below 1.35%. Volatility gauges spiked sending the CBOE VIX surging past 30 levels for the first time since 2018. Crude oil slumped again after Monday's slide of nearly 4%. The global trade suffered its first full-year drop since the financial crisis in 2019 as the weaker world growth and a manufacturing recession took their toll. Updated figures from the CPB World Trade Monitor show that trade volumes fell 0.4% in last year. This is following growth of more than 3% in 2018, reflecting Trump's protectionist stance and the US trade war with China, as well as the industrial slump in Germany. There was hope for a better 2020, and surveys had shown that things had started to improve, but the outbreak of coronavirus has put a dampener on that. Back home, the Reserve Bank announced two long-term repo operations for three-year tenors worth 25,000 crores each to be conducted on March 2nd and March 9th. Remember, for the uninitiated, LTROs are aimed at helping banks to reduce their lending rates, thereby quickening the monetary policy transmission. Stocks in Asia fell amidst the concerns of the coronavirus outbreak continuing to spread, as I said, with the increased cases outside China, noticeably in South Korea. The Korean won retreated and equities in South Korea will down as the country's cases stopped the 1,000 mark up from 51 just one week ago. Nikkei was down 1.5% the last time I checked and the SGX Nifty is indicating a start of 11,685 the last time I checked, which is just a few points away from the budget day low of 11,633. It's over to Darshan Mehta for the trade setup in India. Good morning, Darshan. I don't think it's looking very good. Hi Neeraj, good morning, good morning everyone and we are off to a very very poor start. If you're looking at the global equities, all of them have collapsed. Uh, Most of the commodities are down, the SCX Nifty is indicating a drop of almost 120 points. So uh, we will be off to a very poor start. But some stocks that we need to watch out for. The TRAI data came out yesterday, Vodafone Idea lost in 36 lakh users in December. Bharti Airtel lost in 11,000 users and Reliance Geo added in 82,000 users in December. Sanofi came out with its fourth quarter numbers. Revenues up 14%, EBIT up 30%, profit up 23%. And there was an exceptional loss of 20 crores in the current quarter, which restricted the bottom line growth. Otherwise, that would also have been much higher. They will pay a final dividend of 106 per share and a special dividend of 243 per share. IRB Infra has received the letter of acceptance from MSRDC for the Mumbai Pune Expressway and the old Mumbai Pune Highway project. IRB to pay 8 to 62 crores for the project for 10 years and 2 months and tolling is likely to commence from 1st March 2020 on both the roads. Bandhan Bank RBI lifted the regulatory restrictions on the branch opening subject to conditions. Bandhan Bank has to open 25% of the new branches in unbanked rural areas as per RBI. Goldman Sachs believes that the move is positive as it will support growth and liability franchisee. ICICI Securities had an analyst meet. They see opportunity for customer value add in offering new products related services. The new products include overseas investments linking to select third party boutique advisory firms and commodity trading. They have said that the focus will remain on customer retention and targeting. In terms of bulk deals, yesterday India Cements was up 18%. Kopikishan Damani bought in 85 lakh shares which is close to 3% stake in the company at 82.7 per share. Godavari Power and Ispath, they have started the rolling mill which has a capacity of 4 lakh tons per annum and iron ore benefication plant which has a capacity of 10 lakh tons per annum. Both of them have started. 
Couple of brokerages, Morgan Stanley has raised SBI's target to 375 from 330, maintaining an equal weight. They've raised the target to reflect better performance at the subsidiary level and valuations roll forward by six months. Goldman Sachs has downgraded Page Industries to a sell from a neutral and cut the target price to 18,370 from the earlier 20,492. They have upgraded Marico to a neutral from a sell and they have cut ITC's target to 252 from 312. Macquarie has also downgraded Nestle to a neutral from an outperform but raised the target price to 15,640. They've raised HUL's target but they've cut the target price on ITC, Marico as well as Godrej Consumer. But there's much more you need to know before trade actually starts. For that, log on to our website bloombergquin.com and click on the all you need to know tab and you'll be prepared for morning trade. Thanks for that, Darshan. And I'll just wrap with one piece of corporate global news. Disney has announced on Tuesday that CEO Bob Iger will step down from the role and become the executive chairman through 2021, effective immediately. Iger plans to focus on Disney's creative strategy through the remainder of his tenure. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast today. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed listening to All You Need to Know. Did you know that you can listen to this show on the IVM Podcast app? On the IVM Podcast app, along with this, we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus Says with Cyrus Brocha as the host. Listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta. The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Varma or Shunya One hosted by Shiladiti Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IVM Podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.